we seldom give men give them the diagnosis as pathological gambling. We just uh, give them a temporary diagnosis, working diagnosis, that because that your children that they can that they it's not like adult that they are they're still in a developing stage, so that the uh, their behavior may change over the time. So it's better for child not to give the uh, that the uh, so severe diagnosis. <clears throat> and also that the management for adolescents that they uh, and so far there's no specific pharmacological treatment for adolescent uh, the, uh, pathological gamblers. And the uh, psychosocial intervention is, is also the mainstream in the treatment for uh, uh, adolescent and pathological gambler. In the CB, including CBT, and and to uh, teach or to tell the patient how to accept the problems that they have, and so on and so forth. All this, a psychological intervention. And this is the uh, for adolescent. So that the uh, let's talk about the uh, elderly uh, pathological gamblers. And here that when we talk about the uh, uh, elder patient, it refers to the people who aged 60 years and above. And gambling has been identified to be a frequent social activities among older adults, especially among Chinese. So that's the, uh, there's a study, and there are some studies in other countries as well, that said that the gambling provides an avenue for older adults to escape from negative emotions. And it can, uh, give them the opportunity to relax, to relieve boredom, and to socialize with their peers. However, that's the uh, possible problems in older adults gamblers uh, come from the people who go to gamble very often. The problems including, of course, if they go to gamble often, that they may eventually develop the addiction. Also, that they uh, they have the uh, the potential to develop psychiatric comorbidities, including depression, anxiety, and also substance use disorders. Among all the patient, older patient, that the uh, most of the common substance is alcohol and sleeping pills, benzodiazepines. And also, uh, that the poor physical health conditions, and also a negative social effect, is the disruption in family relationship, and serious financial debts, and the domestic abuse. So that the uh, it, when we see an older patient that come to see psychiatrists for either mood problem or other problems that we have to remember to screen the, the, the problems with gambling. So especially for Chinese, uh, the uh, elder patient. And also currently for treatment, there is limited data on the pharmacological and psychological treatment for gambling disorders in elder adults. The, the, uh, the study is very rare. And, and let's move on to the, uh, the management for comorbidities. So that the, uh, among pathological gamblers, that the, uh, is, there's a high rate of uh, comorbid psychiatric conditions. And this including that the uh, depression anxiety, substance dependence or abuse, and personality disorders, and the psychiatric emergencies, especially 
to suicide, suicide intent or attempts. So actually at our clinic, that from time to time, that are heard from our counselors, and also we write a report for the, the patient who committed suicide because of the gambling or because of the debts. So that the, uh, to screen the uh, 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 suicide intent is very important part in our daily work when we see patient with pathological gambling. So that is the uh, screening for psychiatric comorbidities is essential. And also treatment for comorbidities should be instituted and integrated into, into the overall treatment plan. And the uh, talk about the uh, talking about the uh, families that the uh, family actually playing very very important role in the treatment. So, so that when we reviewed papers that we found that the uh, almost all papers mentioned that the uh, the family involvement is a significant indicator into the uh, uh, outcome, positive outcome. It's associated with a positive outcome. So that the, uh, and usually the gambling behavior that lead to many problems to the family. The problems include that financial difficulties, emotional distress, and a spous spousal and relationship con conflicts, divorce, in the violence and the abuse in the family. And also, participation of the family and the significant others in gambling treatment have been found to improve treatment outcome of the gamblers. And the, uh, the intervention for families, including the family therapy, this is the almost every uh, in our treatment center that the, uh, we provide the family therapy as, as well. Almost all family members are advised to participate in family therapy and also couple therapy if it, they also have the uh, marital problems. So in the, uh, in the CPG group, that there's a two points regarding to the treatment for these three groups population. That treatment in adult problem and pathological gamblers is recommended for the treatment of older adults with gambling disorders. This is the first point. And the second point is appropriate treatment for the identified comorbid psychiatric disorders in individuals with gambling disorder should be instituted. Yeah, so this is the, uh, uh, my talk. So, any, we go through the questions? Or? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, do you have any questions that you want to ask us? Can, can I ask mm. Mr. Kuo? Sometimes we have relations like in from Kuching or here by Johor just to come for treatment. 